Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing everything that was covered in DevStream 72. For this stream, we were joined by Forsythia and Antonis, and the stream focused mainly on the results of the survey that we got sent out a couple of weeks ago, and really what the results of it were. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, they spent the start of the stream talking about the trailer, the process behind making it, and some of the lore connected with it. For my fellow lore friends, I'd suggest you check out the start of the stream for the information, but for general information, all players who participated in the survey should have received a tomato jacket and gloves as a reward by now. So if you didn't, make sure to reach out to the devs on social media and let them know. But it's time for us to cover the survey information. This is news that has been long and awaiting, and I'm really excited to cover, so let's just get into it. Start, they confirmed that around 3.5k players responded to the survey. To begin with, this is quite a large sample size, meaning the results of the survey are likely to be quite accurate to the opinions of the general involved community. This is far more accurate than in a Reddit poll, YouTube poll, Discord poll, by miles. So this is a very reputable source when we're talking about how do players feel about things, simply because of its sample size that many players a lot of biases are going to be overridden simply by the number of responses so it's it's time to really cover what's in that um, and the first question we have is how old are you the data found that 19.3 percent of the community was under 19 16.9 were 20 to 24 14.7 were 25 to 29 17.1 were 30 to 34 16.3 were 35 to 39 and 15.7 were over 40. By analyzing this data, we can find several things. First, the majority of the community is over 25 years old, and the average age of a player in the game is around 27 years old, making the Vido community pretty aged in comparison to most other games. Next up, we have the reception to the increased battle pass size from 50 to 75. This was something I see a lot on Twitter, people saying that it's very unpopular. Well, no. It's decently positive. The average score being a 3.4 out of 5. The majority of the community, 36%, voted 5 out of 5 as liking 75 over 50 as their opinion, while 23% voted 3 over 5 and 14% voted 1 out of 5. I Meaning, moving forward, the dev team should really continue with the 75 tier longer passes um, if they want to listen to the community's opinions and really just not go back to the 50s. Next, we got the results of the poll regarding jump shotting. This poll found that 49.2% of the community voted to not change jump shotting any further, and 16.8% voted they liked the changes, with 34% voting they disliked it. This proves that complaints about jump shotting is a minority opinion, and if the devs follow the opinions of the community, they will leave jump shotting as it is now. I saw on Reddit some people were complaining about the nature of this question, and I want to very quickly completely get rid of that idea. If people were mad about jump shotting, they would have voted that they disliked it. If they didn't care or had apathy, they would have voted what they voted, the 49.2%. They don't want to change it anymore. So jump shotting isn't an issue the devs should be focusing on if the majority of the community just doesn't care about it. So it's, it's a finely worded question. There is no bias in the question. Just as controversial as jump shotting is drop shotting. Um, a poll found that 59.5% of the community thinks the system is fine as it is, 25.6% thinks further work should be done, and only 14.9% want to undo the drop shot changes. This shows really despite social media and despite content creators really saying that this drop shot change wasn't enough, that does not seem to be the opinion of the community, and thus for the devs to listen to the community, they're just going to have to leave drop shotting as it is now. Following that, we had a landslide vote regarding opinions on the new rework for EUM. Despite once again social media and content creators really stating otherwise, the new EUM overwork is overwhelmingly positive, with 80.8% .8 of the community voting that they liked the rework. This is really an example of people are more likely to complain than they are to compliment, and it is really showing that the EUM overwork was something that people really did like, which is what we kind of figured from um, player counts on Elim, which were deduced from queue times. Um, so it's not too surprising, but it really is giving data to the to the speculations that really now the Elim overhaul was 
liked by the vast majority of the community. Finally, we have what changes did you like in Chronicles Absolution? This poll really isn't useful in understanding anything about the game, but I guess it is kind of curious. Um, the new Elam map came in first, while nothing in particular came in last, meaning the people who hate everything about the game are a vast minority in the community, which makes sense because they would just quit. They wouldn't really do a survey. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not too surprised that the, oh, I hate everything group isn't a majority because that wouldn't really make sense in a game. Um, most of the time they just leave the game. Um, in other news though, the devs did drop a hot fix this week that was supposed to fix blurry visual issues, shelter level visual issues, and seasonal challenges. But I have noticed that seasonal challenges and shelter levels are still having some issues here and there. So I think we're going to have to get some more hot fixes to really clean up the issue completely. They're also working on a fix to the weapon shadow bug, so hopefully we get that soon. And I'll be sure to keep you all updated on both of those regards. But today, that's really all I've got for you guys. Um, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.